my God. Are you helping? social experiment to see if there's kindness in the world. And that's why I put both of these on and somebody said, no, it's going to be somebody who's going to help you. And what happened? You're all sitting there watching, looking at a person sitting on the ground. If that was a dog laying there, guess what? You go right up to that freaking dog and hold it, right? Because he doesn't have a voice. What if I didn't have a voice? What if I didn't know how to express myself? You just walk right over a person laying there? Where's the compassion? Where's the human side of things? This is the United States of America. People are trying to get here from all around the world to live in our country. And you want to treat people like that that are from this country? What is going on here? I cannot believe it. I said to myself, I said, nah, what person is going to come and help me? Not one of you, it's the bus driver. How many kids you got at home? I got three, sir. Yeah. Are you a single parent? I am a single parent. And how hard is it to make that money every month? It's very hard. Don't I you think they understand that? 24 hours in a day to make sure everybody gets to and from. That's right. You know I know that. You know why I know that? You don't know. I own this line of, of buses. And I know about you. And I knew that you were going to come out and help me. Out of everybody here, I knew it was going to be you. And guess what? Guess what you're promoted at? You're going to be the person that's going to bring in the people and hire the people to do the bus. I need people like you in my company. I need people that care. People that are coming on this bus, come here. What's your name? What's your name? My name's Ebony. Ebony. All right, listen, I'm John. Now listen to me. I want to tell you, stick this off. It's hot. It's people like this that give us, the people that don't have much, hope. She has a great attitude. Every time you're on this bus, anybody, even a new person, she's greeting you. And, and she doesn't have to do that. She makes a, a, a minimum of salary. There's a cap. But that cap is going to stop right here. She is going to be in charge of all the new hirees for our bus company. That's right. You can clap. Absolutely. I see your mom. And I will tell you, if it wasn't for the moms in this country, moms, unconditional love no matter what. First love of his son is his mother. They base their love off of the love of their mother. And that's the type of woman they want in their life. And she don't have a, a husband to help her. But we're going to help her from now on. We're going to give her opportunity for her kids. And guess what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm going to create a college fund for every one of your kids. I thank you so much. Every one of your kids. I thank you so much, son. Look at me. Oh, my God. I am going to create a college fund, okay? And you're going to 
gonna have your kids are not gonna have to worry about going to college. So <laughs> yeah. You deserve that. Thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> you do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how long have you been at this? Five years. Five years. Five years. Five years. And that's real. <laughs> It's a real struggle, isn't it? Man, that struggle's gonna I'm thanking you for my kids, sir. You don't have to thank I me. Do, I'm I thanking do. you. You're the type of people we need in our company. Oh my God, I appreciate you so much. You deserve that more. You're never gonna have oh to worry again. And I'm gonna, get, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get our company to give you a vacation. Oh my God. Weekend. I appreciate you, sir. I appreciate you so much. You don't have to appreciate it. We thank appreciate you. you. Thank you so much. You can clap, guys. Clap for her. Clap for her. Thank you, guys. Now, guys, let me get y'all where y'all need to go. Thank you, sir. No, stop the thing. Oh, my God. Thank you.